Because this travel weekend will be real busy for people who are taking to the air what's up guys welcome back to the channel things are a little bit different today i'm excited when i can wake up and start a video differently like little things like that really excite me right woke up hotel room hotel vibes raleigh north carolina birthday weekend we're uh spending the spending the weekend in raleigh so uh you know obviously if you guys saw the last video we 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 drove down here and then we're, we're waking up in my little my little one one bedroom bachelor pad up here, little little nice spot, nice spot, little 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 pre day fit check. We want to switch it up a little bit, but great way to start the video out. Good vibes, hotel vibes, somewhere new, somewhere different. Gotta love it. Let's get this bread. I feel like I'm leaving something in here. Charger, computer. I didn't get home till, or I didn't get home. I didn't get back here till like. 2.30, 2 o'clock, 2.30 from uh, Atlanta yesterday. Came came in here and edited a little bit. I'm just trying to make sure I didn't leave anything. I feel like I'm leaving something. It's not. Housekeeping. <laughs> if that's all right. I'm leaving the white truck behind. <clears throat> Off. Oh, hers is gonna get 10,000 miles more than the white truck does did I did I really come to North Carolina if I didn't leak oil all over the parking lot with my white truck <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, geez. Oh, man. I'm excited to be uh, huh. my lighting at <clears throat> a little Cracker Barrel for breakfast. I haven't had Cracker Barrel in years like years it's been a long time i'm excited to be going to spend the day doing non-truck things that's kind of what this video is going to be is non-truck things Alex, you can we're going shopping sorry <laughs> hey no i'm no I'm, I'm perfect in the back me and my me and my camera are gonna be perfect back here we got our little vlogger in the car yeah yeah, I'm doing, doing this. Thing. This video is non-truck things today. <laughs> no truck things. I'm excited. I haven't been to a Whole Foods in like my whole life. I don't think. I haven't been to Whole Foods in a while. Been years, probably. A bit of water, drink some water today. You ever get to a point where you've been drinking so much water on a regular basis that you start drinking other stuff and other stuff starts tasting weird? You know what I mean? You ever get that way? It's kind of where I'm at right now. I had a sweet tea for breakfast at Cracker Barrel. It just wasn't hitting the same. I'm about to go to one of my favorite places in the whole world though. I'm excited. The significance of the uh, the red and white store. So anytime that I come to, to Raleigh, which is probably about once a year, I um, really what what's going to make the connection between the YouTube channel and you know the the, the red and white store is the the black NC State long sleeve shirt. Everybody has seen me wear that shirt. It's the the black long sleeve NC State with the red letters and the and the Bass Pro Shop hat has become the just my, my look, right? You know, the Bass Pro Shop, but that shirt, I've been everywhere in that shirt and I wear the hell out of that shirt. And that shirt came from this store. So every time I come to North Carolina, every time I come to Raleigh, coming to the store is one of the the things that I have to do every time because I always feel like or the 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 red uh, the red hoodie that I wore for the longest time. I wore that one until I I got it muddy with Jake. Uh, one of the first times me and Jake went went uh, side by side riding, I got it muddy and I haven't really been able to wear it ever since because I kind of ruined it. So every time I come to the store, it, it becomes like a, a, a long term moment on the channel because I always buy something that I wear so much that you guys know me for it. So that's kind of why I wanted to come by and film over here because, you know, I, I've never filmed when I've come in here before. So when I come in this time and potentially buy something that becomes big or known on the channel, you guys will be able to you know know the process and, and see the process of what how that happened the fly fishing 
This is a little like fly fishing shop. That's cool. We got huskies, so close enough, right? Wolf, husky, same thing. This is it. Yeah, I like that one. I'm, I'm gonna tell you a quick story. Me and my cousin CJ went to uh, went to a store out in Triangle Town Center one time, and uh, we were looking. It's kind of like a southern, kind of like a southern shirt kind of place they got like vineyard vines and stuff like that and uh, i walked around and there's 60 dollars shirt 60 dollars shirt 40 dollars shirt all these shirts and i loved them and we went over to the uh to the sale rack right and there was a, a black shirt had a bow tie on it right and had something on the back right and this was way before the youtube and all that stuff and it was a five dollar t-shirt i was like ah it looks a little small or something and he said man it's five bucks if you wear it one time you got your money out of it and I've worn that shirt probably hundreds of times, like way too many times. And every other shirt that I bought there, I probably wore one time and then never wore it again. And they, those were the $40, $60 shirts, but the $5 shirt I've worn like a hundred times. So, sale rack. You're looking at the new uh, skin is, with the, it's got the right hood. Oh, this is it right here. This is, y'all gonna see this? I'm going to Hawaii in this one. I'm just letting you know. I'm going to Hawaii in this right here, 100%. Wow, your trunk is empty. 100%. I have to fill it with I'm impressed. This is why. This is why I wanted to film this process. Oh, sorry, we can shut that. That's why I wanted to film this process because I was able to document the new hoodie on the channel. It's a big deal. Andy, come help your wife carry things. She wanted me to put her in the video. I had to make sure to put the red car with the black wheels in the video. <laughs> When she sees, she doesn't know that I'm putting her in the video. But when she sees this, look, I'm peeking over there. She doesn't know it. I'm gonna tell her to go watch it, and it'll, it'll be a little sneak peek in there for her. Look, we stopped, stopped and got some Snoopies. If y'all have never had Snoopies in North Carolina, you're missing out. You really are. Actually, it actually feels like a, bir a birthday tip. Well, my birthday's tomorrow, technically, but. I got some pants and some socks. Pair of shoes. About to go to Cabela's, get me some some fresh Bash Bass Pro Shop hats. I can't I can't get Bass Pro Shop hats in Atlanta. The all the Bass Pro Shop hats that you see me wear are not from Atlanta because Bass Pro Shop only has or uh, sorry Atlanta only has a Cabela's and they never have any of the hats that I like. Um, even though Bass Pro Shop owns Cabela's. So every time I go to Cabela's, it's just trash. And the Bass Pro Shops are like an hour and a half north and an hour and a half south. They got one in Lawrenceville and one in Macon, and I just never make that drive for a $6 hat. So anytime I go to Tallahassee, I stop at the Bass Pro Shop. And anytime I come to, to North Carolina, I always stop at the Cabela in White Oaks, uh, or in White Oak. And the reason I'm putting these names out here is because anybody that watches the channel, any of y'all that are you know, from this area, it would be cool for y'all to know where are some of the places I'm going and some of the you know things that I'm talking about. Um, these are all public places, obviously, so it's not any kind of secret or anything, but I'm not live streaming that I'm here right now. This video will be posted two or three days afterwards, obviously, but um, <clears throat> all, all no truck stuff today is, this is the point. So we're coming around the bend and I just happened to look across the interstate and I'm like, why does that look so familiar? And then I'm like, oh wait, it's my truck. It's only right that we uh, had to come out here if, 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 if we got the rest of the, uh, you know, the, the, the pants, the, the shoes, it's only right that we come out here and get some new, some new Bass Pro Shop hats. Hopefully they at least have something that I like. A lot of times I come into the Cabela's and they have uh, zero. So I'm hoping it's a little bit better. Look, they got one, a red one. I've got two of these already. Just down here, the black ones. You can tell the, the OG ones because they're $5.99. Nah. Nah. We got one red one, and then I saw one blue one. Let's see that 
599 on the side. No, not this one. Oh. You gotta know what you're looking for. Look. Right there. The dark blue and white. Check it, brown one. Screw it. I've never had a brown one. I'm getting a brown one. Screw it. And another blue one. Ride out with it. Absolutely. Oops. Oh yes. Oh yes. We did it. We did it. I gotta show him. I'm sorry. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna set it right here. Yeah. I gotta show him. Show the people. So we walked around the whole place and we were really upset because I couldn't find any hats. And I was actually walking around looking at fishing lures and this guy walks up to me and says, hey, can I ask y'all a question? And it's an older guy, probably in his late 60s maybe. And he says, are y'all wearing that hat because of the country artist that was wearing that on stage the other day? And obviously I don't know nothing about this, right? I'm on social media, but I'm not on social media. I have no idea what he's talking about. And I said, no, honestly, I just, I like the, the hats. They're six, five ninety nine. you can't beat that. And he said that they had gotten, I don't remember if he told me how many, but if you look at the, the case where it was at, it had to be two or 300 of them that they would have gotten in on the shipment. And he said that there were kids coming in and buying four or five a piece of these hats because they saw some country artists wearing them. So we went back up to the front where he said that they were, and these obviously you could see from the, the clips were the only two colors that they had. I got this one in Tallahassee the last time I was there. Um, and I actually have a, another dark blue one at home, but every time I see new ones, I, I you know, I gotta get one. And then the brown, I've never seen the brown before. So the brown is the brown's super cool. I'm actually really excited about the brown. And I kind of want to wear this one today, but it don't really go with what I'm wearing today. But we, uh, new score on the Bass Pro Shop hats today. Let's get this bread. Look, the whole day I've been talking about no trucks, no trucks, no trucks, all day. But I'm, I'm leaving my a family get together and the Cracker Barrel's across the street next to the hotel that we're staying at. And I have, I have to show you this truck, I have to. Yeah. I've been talking about all day that this video is gonna be no trucks, no trucks, no trucks. I keep going. But this one, this one's definitely worth it. 100% I feel like this is worth it, I'm just saying. What's going on? Can you move, please? Thank you, <laughs> Mr. Kia Sorrento, please. Thank you. And one thing I'm trying to do, look at the neon sign, I love that. Smithfield Barbecue. Look. Look at it. With the, with the boggers on it. With the boggers on it. I had to come over here and film this. All right, so we got, look at this, 20. No, no, stop, 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 stop. Be really awkward if somebody's in the truck. There's no tent, so I don't feel like he's in the truck. But my body style 2014 2015 Rocky Ridge Lift Kit, all white. Okay, Mr. Mustang, Jesus. Look at this. Thing. I'm just like in love with this right now. Look, there's my thumbnail right there. That picture, thumbnail, boom. Boggers with the bit with, with the wide 15s. Should I go film it? Oh, screw it. People with trucks like that, what do you do? Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm going. Oh, jeez. What do we got here? I hope the guy's not in the truck. If he's in the truck, it's going to be really awkward. Look, he's got the, the chrome upper ball joint or upper, upper control arms. What do we got? 15s? Got to be like 15 by 15s with the ballers though. I had to come film it. I'm sorry. The one time, the one thing, I've been talking about it all day that I wasn't going to film it. And I was pulling out of the, over there and I just, yeah, I know. I'm sorry. All right, all right, all right. All right, let's go. He's probably in there looking at us, filming it. Beautiful. Whoever you are, love the truck. Absolutely love it. Beautiful. Oh, there's no windows on this side of the building, so we're good. Unless he was standing outside or he was in the truck, he'll have no idea. Mission accomplished. Hell yeah. Technically, today, Sunday, is my birthday. And I, I had to stop. There's no Starbucks near me out here south of Raleigh, but there's definitely a Dunkin' Donuts. When I was growing up, to be honest, Bojangles was the thing, and I still might hit Bojangles before I leave, but growing up and coming up here during the summers and stuff, Bojangles was was always the move. Bojangles is, this is where I, you know, I first 
the only time I'd ever been to Bojangles was when I would come up here. So that's, uh, if any of you guys remember on the channel, the big uh, Bojangles time in my life, ultimately that was because I would come up here during, during the summers and stuff and come to Bojangles and I loved it. And Ta Tallahassee finally got Bojangles in like 2017 or 2018, whatever it was. And, um, you know, my, my job had moved over there, so I stopped going to Chick-fil-A every single morning and I started going to Bojangles every morning and built that relationship with the people that work over there at the Bojangles. So ultimately, if you guys remember the Bojangles truck beats and you know, all of that stuff, and I could say it now, I used to eat free at the Bojangles every morning. I didn't even have to order. I would just walk in and they knew what I wanted. I got the same thing every day, the Cajun filet biscuit, fries, large sweet tea. I would come in and get my stuff, hang out for a minute, and then I'd go to work. And then we would do uh, truck meets every couple of months at their stores. And, you know, they'd let me eat free. I mean, it was it was the craziest thing. And at, at you know, 20, 21 years old, to, to be sponsored by Bojangles, technically speaking, was was like a dream come true at the time. And it just, it's one of those cool things. I felt like you guys might need to know where the Bojangles things came from. But technically speaking, today is my birthday. So happy birthday to me. Let's get this bread. Get this bread!